welcome Unicums and soon to be Unicums. I'm OK Vader, and in this video, what I'm going to be going over is how to relocate on Castilla. Now, I have just gone to South Spawn, so what I always like to do when I'm in a med is I like to tell, I say, meds left, rest right. Now, this means that if I'm in a med, I'm going to have the meds supporting me on the left side. And the heavies on the right side are going to be able to spot the guys on the right side for me, which will give me a sense of where the entire enemy team is. Now, the reason why I'm staying here is because I'm waiting to see if my uh, teammates on my team will spot those guys pushing up the hill on the other side of the map. However, since I see at E100 staying back, I know that their team is probably going to be playing a little more passive. So I'm just moving up here to see if they have any meds pushing this way. Since I see that they have no meds pushing this way, I am going to move up here. However, this is only because I see that I have a 704 pushing ahead. And I know that he's going to essentially be bait. And if he's going to be bait, I want to take advantage of him. Now right here, I'm making sure that I'm staying in a spot where I won't get spotted if... I can get shots into them. I'm making sure that I'm at least 300 meters away because I, w I think it's oh, around 260 or something like that meters for the enemy to spot you. So I always like to stay around 300 meters away just so I don't get spotted. However, seeing that they're not going to be getting spotted on the left side I know that they're really wedged in to their uh, into their haul down position, so I'm not. I don't really want to push into them because I know that it's gonna be very hard for me to get shots in when they're in haul down positions. So as I see this 704 push the left side and spot them, I'm gonna take advantage of this and get shots in a Yegu 100. Now. As I see a 704 die, I am going to relocate. You're going to see me relocate soon here. i letting them move up a bit. And by staying in this position, I'm going to keep them spotted up until the point where I have to eventually move. Now right here, it's going to give allow me to stay hauled down and get shots in this C8G100 that's pushing me. And I see his 54 backing me up, so I'm going to move ahead a bit. And I'm going to just keep focusing them down. I see that uh, waffle in the open, so I'm going to go for him with some, with some HE. I'm just trying to maximize as much damage as I can this position. I see that 54 relocating out, so I know that it's my turn to relocate out. Otherwise, that Yegu and Hard Wave guy shine to me. And just that quick look back, honestly probably saved me my life there. You just got to make sure that you're aware of your surroundings. Now, if I wasn't aware, I would be thinking, I have a 54 backing me up. I can just keep staying in this position. However, teammates are very, um, how would I say it? I would say it unreliable, and you always got to keep on your toes the entire game. Now right here, I know that I can ODPM this 113, so I'm just taking advantage of this and just out DPMing him. However, as I see his teammates start to push me, I'm going to relocate again. I'm going to try and get around them, and I'm always making sure that I'm keeping their big guns away from me. Now, what you will notice is that I'm even when I do have to expose myself, I'm always making sure that I'm minimizing the amount of damage that I'm going to take in return. Right here, I'm choosing to take hits from this um, from this Centurion because I'd rather take a hit from a Centurion than a 113. So that's why I decided to stay in the open there for that 113. Not that 113. That Centurion. And now I'm going to be able to out DPM this 113 and just relocating into the enemy spawn, knowing when to relocate back out and 
knowing who to focus down in those situations is probably what saved me my life there. If I hadn't got out, gotten out when I did, I probably would have gotten killed by a Yagi 100. And hopefully this video showed you guys a little bit of my thought process when it comes to relocating on Castilla. When we got into that game, I made sure that I knew that our 704 was pushing in front of me. If that 704 wasn't in front of me, I would have still stayed on the castle. Just to make that clear, whenever you do a relocation like this, you always want to make sure that you have a teammate in front of you or that you have the clear advantage or that you know where the enemy team, the entire enemy team is. And even this little relocation, I'm moving up because I know that 140 is distracted. I know that he's not going to be looking at me and I'm going to be able to get a shot to him there. We're going to end up securing the game with 6,378 damage. I believe we do end up coming away with the mastery. Yes, we do. Two kills, the high caliber. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did... Don't forget to hit that like button. It really just shows that you're supporting what I'm doing. And if you really want to support what I'm doing, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.